Coming in, there were some people saying tonight that this is going to be the best quarterback and group of skill players you guys have seen this season. What does it say about uh, this team that you were kind of able to dismantle their mm -hmm. offensive game plan? Yeah, um, they got a lot of. Yeah, obviously they really got a lot of talent. You know what I mean. Uh, got a lot of weapons on the offensive side, but you know, coming to this game, it, w it wasn't really. We wasn't thinking about oh, all the talent they got and all that kind of, you know, all that kind of stuff. We've been playing really good. You know, like Sherman been saying, championship defense, and uh, you know, we just had to come in. We knew it was coming off a bye, and in the past, you know, we've been coming out on buys like a little lack of days cool and stuff. So, you know what I mean. We just had to come in with that same energy. And um, you know, really just focus on ourselves and and what we can do better on defense. And you know, it came to you know it came to light on Monday night. You heard his praise of that defensive line. Yeah. Do you think he's pretty accurate with that? Most definitely. I mean, uh, you know, the, this year, you know, the, you see the big difference on you know on the line all around. You know what I mean? And um, and like you said, rushing coverage it works together. And uh, you know, if we're getting pressure, um, they're getting picks. And uh, and it goes both ways. You know, sometimes it takes a little longer to get get back there, and you know they're holding up on the back end, and we can we can get sacked. So, you know, it all works together. You know, we had a um, you know Akello didn't go today, and E Man stepped up, and uh, you saw that nice PBU he had in the end zone, and um, you know he's he's play, been playing his tail off since training camp, and you know to see see a guy like that, uh, you know, get the opportunity that he had tonight, he really showed up on Monday night. Did you know Nick was going to do the celebration? And what did you think of his I did. I definitely did. Uh, you know, uh, he told me uh, a couple of days ago, you know, he, about the whole Baker thing, doing that um, back in Ohio. And, uh, you know, I was like, yeah, you definitely got to do that. And, uh, you know, him, you know, balling out tonight, uh, you know, he took it personal, obviously. And, you know, when he got when he started doing the celebration, I wanted to run up and, you know, congratulate him and everything. So I had to give him a little space so he can do it. And uh, I thought it was I mean, that was pretty cool to see. How rewarding is it to see Nick finally kind of get to the quarterback the last couple of weeks? He, he was close, but just yeah. couldn't finish tonight. I know. Um, I mean, it was it was nice to see. You know, he, he's been working his tail off, and obviously, you know, his, the stats are there, all the hits and pressures that he's been getting. He just hasn't been finishing and wrapping him up. And uh, we were talking about it uh, earlier in the week, you know, especially the Tampa, the Tampa Bay game. He, he probably f missed about six legitimate sacks that he could have had in that game. And, uh, you know, he ended up with one. But, uh, you know, just seeing him, you know, take the next step and finishing those, you know, finishing those uh, rushes is really great to see. What do you think when you see the first, the, the first play of the offense, they, they break a run off for 83 and the way they've been able to run yeah. the football, what, what are you thinking as a, as a defender when you, when you see that? Yeah, I'm, I'm just excited we get to go back out there so quick. I mean, it's, it's more opportunity to get back on the field and, you know, to, for the offense to, you know, come out like that, you know, running the ball. I mean, he almost ran, ran for uh, 300 yards almost. And, uh, you know, to see that, get them getting the run game started and, you know, it opens up the pass game for Jimmy. Uh, it's, it's, phenomenal, it's phenomenal to see. After what they did against the Ravens, what did you see on film that when you, you were the close the edges, you were able to go up the middle on yeah. the sides? What did you see that? Yeah, you know? um, watching film, I, don't, I mean, we just, we saw, you know, they were going to, we knew they were going to come out with the run game and, uh, you know, trying to, trying to stuff it down the throat. And we, we just knew we had to set edges. Uh, our defensive ends had to set edges. We had to be stout on the double teams inside uh, if they started to go with the gap scheme a little more. And, uh, you know, uh, that's what we did. And uh, the linebackers were, you know, running and hitting. And, you know, that's what, that's what really our defense is. You know, we, we really have to stop the run coming into the game, and it allows us to, to pass rush and everything to open up. Tonight was a complete defensive effort from you guys, but how much better can this defense get going through, throughout the rest of the season? A, a lot better. Uh, the, the, it's just, just the details, you know what I mean? Like, they busted out that trap. You know, they trapped me, um, and uh, they – that was probably the, that was the biggest run of the day, and um, you know I take that stuff personally, and uh, I know I got some things in my game that I got to fix up, and uh, you know a lot of guys, you know it wasn't it was a complete game by the defense, and a lot of guys you know played hard today and played well, and uh, but we all know that we all individually got little things to, to clean up. You're about to get very hyped. This game was on national mm -hmm. television. Yeah. It was a statement game. Do you want the hype, or do you want people to continue to kind of honestly not respect that stuff doesn't you? matter to me. Uh, you know we just got to come out. Um, like we've been doing, you know, we believe in ourselves, uh, the things, that, the work that we put in every day, and uh, you know, the guys that they don't let it get to them, you know, it's just, you know, it's just one day at a time, and that's what we got to do. You mentioned E-Man coming in, having a good night tonight. Yeah. Justin School's been playing well mm -hmm. in place of uh, Joe Staley. Yeah. Running game, a lot of guys stepped up when Tevin Coleman was out. 
Does it give you a lot more confidence this year that there seems to be some real depth on this team? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, to have young guys come in and, and ball, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great feeling to have, and it's great to see. It just shows, you know, the, a lot of the veteran guys in that position group or around the, or, or around the whole team, you know, has that trust in them and, and really, you know, just has their back. You know, it doesn't matter if they do well or do bad. Um, we're just trying to help them no matter what. And, you know, for them to step in, step in and, and play a big role, I mean, it's, it's just great to see, and, um, you know, it makes me very happy. You guys good? Thank you, Deepo. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah.